see the court back in session. Okay, please be seated. I understand we have a verdict. So let's bring in the jury. All right, counsel, may be seated. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Has the jury reached a verdict? Okay, can you hand the verdict to the deputy, please? All right, Ms. DiPolito, if you would stand for publishing of the verdict, and the clerk may publish the verdict. All right, now, Mr. Plea, you may be seated. Does the defense wish to poll the jury? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. There's been a request to poll the jury, and that, what that means is that the clerk is going to ask each of you by number, she'll just call out your number, and it's fairly simple, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, whether the verdict as read is your verdict. If it's your verdict, if the verdict as read is your verdict, say yes. If it's not, obviously let us know. Um, so the clerk may poll the jury. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you on behalf of the citizens of Palm Beach County, on behalf of the parties, and certainly on my own behalf for your service in this case. It's been a long trial. You've paid close attention. You've followed my instructions, and we certainly appreciate that. It's a bit anticlimactic because that you saw that when I discharged the alternates, I gave them certificates of appreciation. You're going to have those same certificates of appreciation signed by the Chief Judge of the 15th Judicial Circuit, the Honorable Jeffrey Colbath. One thing I did not mention uh, when I discharged the alternates, attached to those certificates of appreciation, you're going to find a questionnaire. For lack of a better way to describe that questionnaire, it's a report card on me. It has to do with the manner in which I conducted the trial. You're not required to fill out that questionnaire, um, but we do like to get as much input as we can. So if you wish to fill out the questionnaire, you can use the envelope to return it to me. If you do choose to fill out the questionnaire, just a couple of things. First, please do not put your name on it. Also, please do not put anything on the questionnaire concerning the deliberations, the discussion, or the vote which occurred in the jury room, which leads to the last instruction I have to give to you before I discharge you for this evening. Um, the matters which occurred in the jury room are a private affair. Absent court order, you cannot be compelled to discuss those matters with anyone. However, that is a privilege that you are free to waive. It's just like your notes. Um, you have that privilege. You can waive that privilege. You can speak with anyone you like concerning your jury experience, including the experience that you had in the jury room. However, as I said, absent a court order, you cannot be compelled to discuss those matters. So if someone approaches you about this case and you do not wish to speak to that person about this case, you are privileged to say no. With that said, I'm now going to discharge you from service in this case. Again, with our thanks, we're going to take you out back the way we always have. Um, have a pleasant evening, safe drive home, and a great weekend. Oh, yes, phones. Neil, where are the phones? Don't break my promise that we've never lost a phone yet. Yeah, well, the, the jury office is closed, so we'll collect up the juror badges. Just make sure you get your phone.
All right, counsel, you may be seated. May I have the jury verdict, please? All right, Ms. DiPolito, now based on the jury verdict, I'm going to adjudicate you guilty of solicitation to commit first-degree murder as charged in the information. Let's talk about a few things. Um, this is a case, I know there was a prior conviction, but that was overturned. So I'm assuming since it's a first felony, you'd be entitled to a PSI, correct? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, and so you'd like a PSI? Uh, yes, Judge. Okay. Um, we'll talk about um, the PSI, the timing of the PSI in just a minute. It'll take at least 30 days for the PSI. In terms of how much time you'll require for sentencing, I'm talking about the sentencing hearing. How much time do you want to reserve for that? Okay, so state wants at least 30 minutes. Uh, defense, how much time would you like for sentencing? We asked for, I'd say hour and a half, Judge. All right, so we're talking two hours altogether? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, sentencing dates where I have that time available. I think it's going to be July 20. Again, they've updated the equipment. I can't use it. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm pretty sure July 20 is open all day. Do you want it in the afternoon? Or the, let's do it in the afternoon. Pardon me? You can do the 21st. Let's do it. Is 21st better for you, Mr. Yes, Your Honor. All right. So um, let's set it. 21st is a Friday. We'll set it for 1.30, July 21st, for two hours. Um, let's order the PSI. Tell them I want the PSI within 30 days. Right, we should have it then before... Yeah, I, we should we should have it before July 21. All right, so um, 30 days. I want the PSI. Okay. Um, anything further before I remand? No, okay. Anything further before I remand? Okay. I appreciate your comments, um, but she's now been um, convicted of a first-degree felony. I'm now going to remand to the custody of the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office to be held no bond pending sentencing. So I'll remand it this time. Judge, can I have a moment, please, for one more time? Please. Do you have a phone here with you? Um, let me do this. Um, Neil, is there any issue with that? Okay. Yes, you may. Before they, before they take you down, they'll let you make that phone call. Okay, anything else we need to do? You have to prepare a judgment for me. You want to do that now? Uh, well, I've got my own problem, so I understand.
if you're not able to print the judgment, um, no, I'm just saying if you're not able, you can always submit it later, okay? Um, you can do it on Monday. Okay, all right. All right, we're in recess.